of his only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish. God's Son came down from heaven and born of a virgin, and he lived a sinless life, and he died on the cross as the atonement, as the sacrifice, as the payment for your sins. Folks, get right with the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Your money will not save you. Your money's going to perish on Judgment Day, my friends. What good is it if you gain the whole world and lose your only begotten soul? Malibu, wake up and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins, folks. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is coming back to judge the world in righteousness with 10,000 of his saints. Folks, America needs Jesus Christ. They need Jesus Christ. They need repentance. The Bible says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, turn from their wickedness and seek my face, I will hear them. I will heal their land, says the Lord God. Folks, turn back to the Lord today. Many of you have went to church. I'm not calling you to church. I'm calling you to the Lord Jesus Christ, to a living relationship with the living God, being indwelt by the Holy Spirit. Come to it today. What must we do to be saved? The Bible says believe, repent, believe the gospel and get baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the maker of heaven and earth. My friends, you have a creator. You did not come from monkeys. You did not come from primordial soup. The living God breathed his spirit into you and created man. He created a living soul. And Adam and Eve and Eve was deceived by the serpent and fell into disobedience, disobeyed God. And because of that disobedience, we were separated from God. But God had a redemptive plan through his son, through the seed of the woman. Jesus Christ would be born and would redeem all those who believe. He crushed the head of the serpent and he bruised his heel so that we can be risen with Christ. We die with Christ through baptism. Don't just tell me you were baptized as a child. It meant nothing. You must truly die to yourself for the old things pass away and all things become new, my friends. Repent. Repent. It's heaven or hell when you die. And apart from Christ, the wrath of God currently abides on you. The Bible says those who do not believe are condemned already. And this is the condemnation that light has came into the world. But men have loved darkness rather than light, for their deeds were evil. Therefore, hating the light, they do not come into it, lest their evil deeds be exposed. But all those who come into the light show that their deeds were made in God. My friend, come to the light today. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light of men. Apart from him, you can do nothing. But in him, you will bear much fruit. Turn to the Lord today. Confess your sins to God. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. And he calls us to newness of life in him. To a risen life. To a victorious life where we are more than conquerors. Pressing onward in Christ. Jesus Christ is the answer to America's problems. Jesus Christ can set you free from anxiety. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but by him. For ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Malibu, repent. The Lord is calling you today. If any of you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Repent of your sins and confess to God. Adulterers shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. All those who love and practice a lie shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. The sexually immoral, the effeminate, the idolaters, fornicators, you will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. The marriage bed is undefiled, God says. It's time to repent of your sins and get right with the Lord. Jesus Christ is knocking on the door of your heart. Don't hide. Don't run away into the darkness. All those who follow Jesus Christ shall not walk in darkness. He is the light of the world, the light of men. His word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Your money will not save you, Malibu. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God that came down. He lived among men. 
born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life and he died on the cross. He was beaten, he was bruised, he was battered, he was pierced for your iniquities and mine. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. None is like him. It's time to surrender to God, my friends. Come to the Lord today, all you are heavy burdened, heavy laden, and he will give you rest. He can deliver you from drug addiction and alcoholism and sexual immorality and idolatry. Anything that you love more than God is idolatry. And this nation is full of idolatry and it's full of the love of money, which is the root of all evil, my friends. It's time to repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, the only gospel that slay, saves. <laughs> Do you not know that you are a slave to whomever you obey, either sin unto death or righteousness unto life, my friends? Be set free in Jesus Christ. He can break the chains off of you. He can set you free from those shackles of addiction. He can set you free from suicide or depression. Jesus Christ is the way and the truth and the life. It's not about religion and man-made doctrines. It's about a living relationship with God. And he's calling out to you today. It's not just enough to just hang a cross from your, from your rear view mirror. It's not enough to wear a Jesus t-shirt. You have to really know God. Jesus Christ said, why do you call me Lord, Lord and not do what I say? I wish that you were hot or cold, for the lukewarm I will spew out of my mouth, says the Most High God. And the bride and the spirit say, come, Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. And our Redeemer lives. He lives to make intercession for us. Our God is merciful. He will have mercy upon you today. But you must go to God. Stop going to your comforts of the world. The Bible says that the love of the world is enmity against God. And the pride of life, and the lust of the eyes, and the lust of the flesh leads to death. There's no satisfaction in them, my friends. Only Jesus Christ can fill that void. Come to the Lord today. Say, Jesus, have mercy on me, a sinner. Forgive me, Lord, and repent. Turn from it. Don't stay in your sins. Don't wallow in the mud. Don't return to the vomit like a dog. Come to the Lord today. His blood will cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Confess your sins of Jesus Christ. He is the Lord. He is the maker of heaven and earth from where my help comes from. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Everything that you can see is temporary and perishing. That which is unseen is eternal. Our money will perish. We can't take it with us. All of our cars, our houses, our bank accounts will account for nothing, my friends. It's not about good works. It's about grace through faith. Your good deeds won't get you to heaven. You can say, well, I donated to this cause or I helped so-and-so, I'm a good person. Nonsense, my friends. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but by him. Turn to the Lord today. Turn to Jesus Christ. Take heed to the voice of the Lord. His word is truth, and it shall not return void, my friends. Repent of your sins and believe the gospel. The Lord said he is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. It's time to repent and come to the Lord. Stop living in harlotry, in love with the world. You cannot serve two masters, Jesus said. He said, for you will love one and hate the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. You can't serve God and money. You have to choose this day whom you shall serve. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Your money will perish. Don't store up your treasures on earth where thieves can break in and steal it and rust will decay and moth can eat it. Store up your treasures in heaven, Jesus said. He said, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Where is your heart, my friends? Give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. Guard your heart, guard your eyes. Turn away from the lust of the eyes. 
Turn away from your adulterous lives. The Bible says, Jesus said, if you look at a woman with lust and you have committed adultery in your heart, it's time to repent and get right with God. Turn from your idols. Cast your idols into the fire and let them be consumed. Better than you be consumed in eternal fire on judgment day. The mark of the beast is coming. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and repent. Do not take the mark. For all those who take the mark of the beast and worship the beast shall be cast in the lake of fire that burns forever and ever. <coughs> Glory be to God. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is glorified here today. Turn to the Lord today, folks. Jesus Christ is the answer. No amount of political help will be able to save us. We need God. For righteousness exalts a nation and sin is a reproach to any nation. Humble yourselves. The Bible says humble yourselves and God will exalt you. But pride brings you low, my friend. God knoweth the proud afar off. You won't be able to roll up your windows on Judgment Day. You won't be able to turn a deaf ear to the Lord on Judgment Day, folks. You'll be standing before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. It's time to repent today. Humble yourselves. Your money will not save you. Your pride is like a stench before God. The Bible says God knows the proud of far off, and those who exalt themselves, he abases. But those who humble themselves, he shall exalt. Humble yourselves today, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. The devil has taken you many captives to do his will and not to glorify God. But the Bible says, be not conformed to the ways of the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you can be able to see the good and perfect, acceptable will of God. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ, friends. Jesus Christ is coming back to judge the world, and he's coming in righteousness. He died on the cross for our sins, so all those who believe in him shall have everlasting life. But what is it to believe? The Apostle James says that even demons believe and they tremble at his name. But do you even tremble at his name? Do you have any fear of God before your eyes? That's the problem today, that there's no fear of the Lord. And the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, the Bible tells us. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. And by the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. It's time we stop loving evil and being tolerant of it and calling it for what it is. Evil is evil, my friend. We must turn from it, turn to the Lord. Those of you who have hatred in your heart for one another have committed murder in your heart. How can you say you love God and hate your own brother who you have seen? It's time to repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ that saves us from sin. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Repent, dukes of Malibu. Repent and get right with God. Jesus Christ is coming back. It's time to get right with the Lord. Your money's going to perish on Judgment Day. The love of money is the root of all evil. Break free from your chains and idolatry and humble yourself today before the living God. Call out on Jesus to be saved. All those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Repent and be baptized in Jesus' mighty name. Glory be to God.